Welcome to Auto Talks. Saturday, May 1st, weekly automotive updates. Honda formally unveiled its 11th generation Civic. It features drivetrain refinements, more mature exterior styling, and premium interior materials at key touch points. Volkswagen is planning production stoppage in Mexico due to the global microchip shortage. VW says it will suspend output of the Tiguan from May 6 to May 16 and the Jetta from May 3rd to May 19. VW has warned its managers to prepare for a bigger production hit due to a worsening microchip shortage. VW expects chip supply to remain tight in the coming months. Automakers and suppliers once again pressed Congress to address the semiconductor chip shortage. Industry groups recently attended a Senate uh, subcommittee hearing to show support for proposals that would invest billions of dollars to boost U.S. semiconductor production. John Bozella, the CEO of the Alliance of Automotive Innovation, said increased domestic chip capacity will support key industries in the United States. Staying in the Washington, D.C., a different group representing automotive suppliers told lawmakers that they oppose setting a firm date for the end of uh, internal combustion engine vehicle sales. The group warned lawmakers during a Senate subcommittee hearing that moving from an internal combustion engine fleet to a battery electric vehicle fleet would lead to a reduction in automotive supplier jobs. Ford CEO Jim Farley stated that the semiconductor shortage will get worse before it gets better. In fact, Ford believes the second quarter will be the through for this year. The automaker now expects to lose 1.1 million units throughout 2021. This is much greater than the earlier projection of about 200,000 to 400,000 vehicles. Ford is also rethinking its sourcing strategy when it comes to battery cells. CEO Jim Fally said, The chip shortage has provided a key lesson about sourcing critical components in the future. Porsche is planning to build a factory to make battery cells for EV. CEO Oliver Bloma expressed that uh, Porsche intends to be in the forefront of high-performance batteries. Parent company Volkswagen itself plans to build half a dozen battery cell plants across Europe. SK Innovations Battery Materials Unit raises $2 billion in IPO in South Korea. Shares of the company were priced at about $95 each. Tesla posted a net income of $438 million for Q1 after record uh, global deliveries. Revenue jumped 74% to $10.4 billion, with gross margin hitting 27%. The company was aided by $418 million sales uh, of uh, regulatory credits and $101 million in profit following the sale of Bitcoin. Toyota has a record-setting month selling 982,912 vehicles in March 2021. Toyota credits their attention to their supply chain and uh, their uh, stockpile of uh, microchips for allowing them to continue production to meet high consumer demand. Ford posted its highest first quarter net income in decade, but warned of major cutbacks in production. The estimation is that the chip shortage will cost Ford a total of about uh, $2.5 billion in 2021. It now 
expects full-year earnings before interest and taxes to be between 5.5 billion to 6.5 billion dollars. Ford is putting extra emphasis on their new Mustang Mach E, as、uh, experts predict the market performance of the Mark E will be significant in determining Ford's place in the emerging battery electric vehicle market. Andrew Freak, Ford's vice president of sales in the U.S. and Canada, says that、uh, Ford has stressed internally the need. For successful launch, due to the significance of the Mark E, Frick further emphasized that the Mark E's launch is especially crucial with the all-electric、uh, E Transit and all-electric、uh, F-150 launching soon. Ford has sold around 6,600 Mark E's in the U.S. from December 2020 through March 2021. Ford says that of those buyers, 70% are customers who previously drove a non-Ford vehicle. We'll be leaving the decade as an EV brand, is a quote from、uh, Rory Harvey, VP of Global Cadillac. Harvey said at a briefing last week that every new Cadillac from now on will be an EV. The XT4, XT5, and X, XT6 will face off in 2025 or 2026. GM has partnered with seven major charging providers to help customers locate and pay for EV charging through their vehicle mobile apps. The agreements are part of what GM calls Altium Charge 360. GM stated that、uh, through their mobile apps, customers will be able to access real-time information from、uh, 60,000 charging plugs in the U.S. and Canada. Toyota's Volvan Planet division is buying Lyft's self-driving unit for $550 million. The deal is expected to close in Q3. Lyft will receive $200 million in cash at closing. With the remaining balance paid over five years, Hyundai and National Geographic are teaming up to create Outside Academy. It is an augmented、uh, reality experience that educates folks about three U.S. national parks and three of Hyundai's electrified vehicles. This concludes the automotive updates for this week. Please like, comment. And subscribe. Thanks for watching Auto Talks.